Now, the world is pretty familiar with Kenyan, Ugandan, or Rwandan coffee, and Ethiopian as well, as these East African nations see this berry as the proverbial black gold. Burundi, however, now wants a piece of the action. Even though coffee from that country is sold in international coffee houses like Starbucks, CGTN's Catherine Amansa reports that the country has a long, long way to go when it comes to branding its own coffee. If you're ever in Bujumbura, most Burundians will tell you to visit the cafe behind me, Cafe Guruma. It is a restaurant that has become synonymous with this capital city that is slowly getting back on its feet following the 2015 political crisis. With French being one of the main languages spoken here, it doesn't hurt to have a little piece of Paris in the heart of Bujumbura. The family business was started in 2012. The Café Gourmand is a modern-day artisan pastry, bread and salon de thé, deeply rooted in the French tradition and know-how. Uh, we are offering a beautiful selection of traditional French bread, pastries, viennoiseries, macarons, and uh, savory options as well. We have recreated an authentic French experience here in Burundi using the highest quality ingredients. Um, so when they opened in the, the Café Coma, it was a, a big uh, buzz in Bujumbura because all people were talking about the, the new café in here. So I came and uh, I was uh, impressed by the products they were offering. And then we I started coming here. Now it's like every day I have to take my coffee and maybe my desserts here. That is one of the reasons this cafe remains on the map here in Burundi, coffee. Most varieties found in Burundi are bourbon or bourbon derivatives. Burundian coffee is known for its intense body and sweetness. The high altitudes are said to contribute to a more nuanced acidity supporting the sweetness and body. To get the true taste of this coffee, go for the espresso. I don't know exactly why, but I, it, they have a different flavor. Um, it's the smell, the, um, I don't know how exactly to explain it, but for me it's the best. Maybe because I'm Burundian, so I can't say nothing else. But um, it's very good, it's nice. And the, um, the barista here, is, he, he offered the best coffee. I think that's what we should do. We should more... more um, branded the, the product because we do have the coffee everywhere in the world, maybe some Burundian coffee, but we, we don't know exactly what we're having. But like when you are outside, like in uh, Kenya or Ethiopia or Rwanda, they really sell the, 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 the country. But here, everywhere you go in Starbucks cafe or whatever, you don't see the name of Burundi, Burundian cafe. So, I think we should do more and more and more for our products. After the coffee industry was privatized in 2009, exports account for about 80% of the country's revenue. It is estimated that about 800,000 local families grow coffee as their main source of livelihood. Seeing as most farmers cannot afford chemicals, Burundian coffee is organically grown. Now that the country is getting back on its feet, Stakeholders in the coffee industry hope that more can be done to brand and market Burundian coffee as a national treasure rather than just a source of export revenue. Catherine Omwando, CGTN, Bujumbura, Burundi.